Hi, this is Mike from Hillside Electronics Corporation, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your USB port on your Epson TMT885 thermal receipt printer. Sometimes people purchase the printer with an Ethernet port, a networking port, and the USB port is not turned on, and that is the port that the customer needs to use. So the first thing we're going to do is take the cover off the USB port with a Phillips screwdriver. Just take the Phillips head screw out. Remove the cover and replace the screw back into the USB port to hold the port into the printer. Now your USB port is exposed. So you will be able to plug your cable in there. Now I'm going to show you how to program the printer to turn that port on. Simply connect the printer to your power. With the printer facing you, press and hold down the feed button while turning the printer on and keep the feed button pressed down. The printer will print out a receipt which gives you all the printer information on it. The next thing we're gonna do, you'll notice that the paper light is flashing. We're just gonna press the feed button down and keep it pressed down. Now it prints out another receipt, which gives you a mode selection of different things we can do in programming. What we're gonna to use today is number three, which is customized value settings. So all we have to do is because that's number three, we're gonna press the feed button three times and on the fourth time, we're gonna hold it down to select that. So one, two, three, and hold it on four. It's gonna print out another receipt with a list of different options you can program. Today, we're going to use number 10, which is the interface selection because we want to turn on the USB port. So we're going to press the feed button 10 times and hold it on the 11th to select it. It'll print out another receipt and it'll list your port selections. What we're going to do today, we want the built-in USB port because you're going to be using the USB. So now we're going to select number two. So we're going to press the feed button twice and hold it on the third time. And it shows that you've selected the built-in USB. Now you can turn your printer off and that port is now available for you to use. The only thing you might have left to do is download the drivers, which you can find on Epson's website on their driver page. And then you should be good to go. Thank you very much and have a nice day.